Good evening and welcome to Daily Mount Park, where Bowes know they'll need to up the ante if they're to have any hope of putting pressure on Shamrock Rovers at the top of the SSE Airtricity League table. Derry City are the visitors here. Tonight they lie eight points off Shamrock Rovers and could ill afford to drop any more points. To be fair, it's been a bit of a stutter since their Europa League exit, which was followed up by defeats to Rovers and Waterford before picking up three points on the road against Sligo Rovers the last time out. The goal-scoring touch has been lacking a little bit too. They'll need to find that against a Derry side who are eager to qualify for the Europa League. We kick off here in Daly Mount Park at 7.45. by Danny Grant first touch for Andre Wright scored the winning goal last week against Sligo in towards Akintunde Akintunde and he scored well there's not two minutes on the clock and via the underside of the crossbar it's Derry City who finally get a goal after two scoreless draws against Finn Harps and St. Pats they take the lead in the second minute a couple of weeks ago kept the those boys in the dressing room for an awful long time after that game. Well, that's a strong challenge on Tierney. And is that a penalty? I think it is. The substitute, Ross Tierney, was tumbled in the area. And it's going to be another substitute, Keith Ward, to take this penalty and maybe rescue a point for Bohemians. Peter Cherry stands between him and 1 1. What a finish! Keith Ward, side of him, just too close and had to spin away. And that's a free kick as well. And yet another yellow card. After that emphatic penalty by Keith Ward has pulled it level. So Breslin then with this free kick for Bohemians. It's a good one as well. It's got a ping pong around the area. And it's eventually forced to the back of the net by Casey. And Bowes, would you believe it, have won it! Unbelievable! And James Talbot comes to join the party, and Derry City cannot believe it! What an extraordinary finish to this game! Uh, Dinny, I suppose, is that more uh, a feeling of relief than adulation of, of three points in the dressing room definitely. tonight? Yeah, definitely. I think it wasn't, wasn't one of our prettiest performances. I think the whole game in general was kind of scrappy and to go behind in the second minute is always going to be tough and Derry doing well they defended well to be fair the whole game and yeah it was absolute smash and grab but great three points to get yeah mm. and I know you watched on for a lot of that from, from the bench but what sort of said at, at half time to try and get that mentality back to just keep going and, 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 and keep trying to ride your luck a little bit yeah he just said that I think Derry kind of looked at the hungrier team in the first half they were getting on the second balls more they, they wanted it a bit more and Keith and Trev just had a bit of a goal at us and told us that we, we need to improve if, if we want to get out and out of the game and the second half was better I think we showed a bit more about us and um, luckily got the results yeah. I mean two absolute minutes of madness there at the end first of all with the penalty and once that was scored I mean the, the, obviously the, the, the belief was there that you could go and get I mean I know you got the, the free kick on the sideline here but the, the, the belief obviously there that you could go and grab the win. Yeah absolutely I think I think when the penalty went in we would have took the one all dry you know in the circumstances but yeah we never gave up there was still two minutes to play and like you said we got a free kick got it in there and it was a bit of a scramble but landed at Dre's feet and he's finished it so um yeah, absolutely delighted. Overall, in terms of the complexion of the season, then how how vital is this result? Given that you know Shamrock Rovers coming into the game top of the table uh, by uh, eight points, uh, you've managed now to draw that back down to five, and now they've got to go to Dundalk, who are riding the crest of a wave at the minute. Yeah, um, there's still a lot to play for. There's, I think there's five games left. We we, um, we four now with a lot of teams of five. Um, yeah, we're just we're not worried about Rovers. We're just going to concentrate on our own game, pick up as many points as we can. Who knows what will happen in the running? Maybe Rovers will drop a few points, but that, that's that's not up to us. We just have to look look after ourselves. And um, yeah, in terms of tonight, it was a massive win to kind of get away from the chasing pack a bit, you know, kind of um, 
Dundalk and Sligo and the like. So um, yeah, it was a massive win, and we're just going to keep going, take it game by game, and see where we end up. Mm. And after Europe, I suppose the, the the disappointment of of missing out solely on penalties uh, and trying to get yourself back into it. I know it was followed by two defeats to Rovers and and, and to Waterford, but that that win in, in in Sligo last time out, how much of a how much of a pick up really was that given? That it's that it was just three weeks of disappointment. Yeah, it was massive. Um, like you said, I think we'd won our five on the trot up before the European game, so we were we were full of confidence. We were doing really well, and then went through a bit of a slump. We lost in Europe on penalties, obviously, and um, the following two league games, which which hit us a bit and knocked us back a bit, you know. But um, yeah, last week in Sligo, very tough place to go, and I think we played very well there. We we, we deserved the win, and it uh, gave gave us a lot of confidence going in today, and then. Like, tonight, like I said, tonight wasn't pretty, it was scrappy, but we've got the three points and, and we're delighted. Mm. A Northside derby um, coming up next for you guys and uh, I suppose in the preparations then to uh, to go off and, and, and face Dundalk then in the next round of the Cup. Um, it's going to be a huge game in terms of obviously beating your beating your rivals obviously in the league and, and as you mentioned picking up all of those points but then getting that... The, the the right level of form going into a really important cup game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we know next week against Shells it's going to be tough. Like you said, Dublin derby, they're always tough, um, tense games, you know. And, and, and Shells are a good side. They're capable of, of beating uh, the, the, big, the bigger teams on their day, you know. So we're going to have to prepare like we prepare for every match. And, and like you said, with the big cup game coming up, we've been unlucky in the cup the last few years. We've knocked on the door. I think it's two semi finals. So we'd love to go a step further and, and even win it. But um, yeah, we're just looking at shells now. We're not thinking about the Dundalk game. We've got shells next week, and hopefully we pick up another three points, and then we'll be confident going into the game. Yeah. And uh, I, th- I suppose then finally, from a from a personal perspective, I know for last season, and and I suppose the, the major- well the, the the opening of this season, you know, you you had spent a lot of time out injured. Um, you've been obviously getting yourself back into it, the swing of things now. How how are you? How are you feeling overall? Um, yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like you said. I had a long layoff there. I I broke my leg and I was out for the cuts of a year. I think I didn't, hadn't played since May last year. So um, yeah, it was tough, but I, I've I've trained hard over the lockdown. We all trained hard, and I'm feeling fit now. I mean, I know game time is limited because we're, we're doing well. I can't really complain too much, you know. But um, I'm feeling good, and I'm 31 now, but I still feel like I've a few years left of me. I, I still feel good, and um, I'm just gonna hopefully play as much as I can for the rest of the season and see what happens. Okay, that's perfect. All Thank right. you very much indeed. No problem.